30 of the biggest, baddest, and brightest superstars in the country here in Cordial, Georgia. They get the two lap to go signal. We're about to go green in two short laps. Bubba Pollard, John Hunter, Nemechek, your front row. Robert Tower with those two rolled up flags has let the field know we are approaching go time. Bubba Pollard faded a little bit during the first 150 laps today. Will he fade again during the Super Series race or will the car be stronger on long runs? How close were they? He got the benefit of starting on the pole both races. Lucky draws. He was third quick in the pro race. He's fifth fast in the Super Series race and he leads the field to green again in less than a lap from now. The one to go signal has been given. The inside of the first two rows, established superstars, Bubba Pollard and Kyle Busch. The outside of the first two rows, rising youngsters, John Hunter Nemechek and Eric Jones on the outside of those two rows. The crowd has risen to its feet. Green flag is in the air, and we're underway for Speed Fest 200 2012 at Watermelon Capital Speedway. And Bubba Pollard has gone into the lead. Three wide, back for about eight. Garvey's been shuffled high and out of the top ten. Up front, Kyle Busch wasting no time going to the inside of a bubble. Pollard coming out of turn number four, but Pollard will lead lap one. A lot of dicey big pack. To the bottom and behind him, David Reagan in the survey. Ninth doesn't look bad right now. He got shuffled into the third groove, nearly got spun out, was able to get it back into the bottom lane and hang on to a top 10. The man on the moves, the 25 of Ross Kenton, who was just about ready to talk about him, and he spins it over in turn number four. Caution flag will fly. Everyone else able to make it around him. The 12 of Marks goes off the track. And so does Kyle Busch now try to take the lead away from Pollard. We know the second groove is pretty good after watching the first race. Green is out, lap 15 at the line. Pollard stays in the lead at the line by half a car length, but now Rowdy. Kyle Busch runs to the outside, slips back a little bit in two, and Pollard's going to stay out front. Busch yeah. will drop into line in third and fourth battle as we have another one up front as Busch drops to the bottom. John Hunter Nemechek holding off David Reagan. Them for the fifth spot. Now Joe's starting to slip back. Here goes Kyle Bush into the inside. So using the chrome horn to move into the top five. Joe's back to six. He battles side by side with Benjamin, drops into line. Some youngsters there with Nassie, followed by Jones and Benjamin. And Bush again looks to the bottom of Pollard for the lead. They're side by side through turn three and four. Kyle Bush on the inside. <laughs> There's that momentum in the second groove, able to make it happen towards the tail end of the top 10. Casey Smith and Chase Elliott side by the move. Mentioned a moment ago. He looks outstanding, and Bush again goes to the inside. Trouble in turn two. Darnell around. The two of Wilson is spun. Everyone else able to make it by. They use the outside and the inside to get around is Darnell. And Wilson running around 11th and 12th, I think, in the rundown, have spun up in one and Pollard two. Pollard Bush lead them on a four. Green flag is out, and we are racing. All 30 starters that took the green the first time in this event still out there racing at lap number 27. Pollard again inheriting the lead as Bush will drop into second. Mid pack, Jared Marks gets shuffled up the track and has to check up, loses several spots. Bush now drops to the bottom of Pollard for the lead. Bush on the inside, Pollard on the high side. They are still side by side going into the turns one and two. Bush seems to have the advantage going on the inside. They head to three and four. I think he might be able to do it this time. Kyle Bush, the Las Vegas, Nevada driver, inching forward at the line. Pollard leads lap 28. However, Bush is still there. Now Pollard, a good run in one, pulls back ahead of Bush, but Bush fights back in turn two. And now 14-year-old John Hunter Nemechek trying to figure out which driver to follow. They're still side by side. That time by Gideon barely to Pollard. run extremely clean side by side so far. Bush pulling ahead if the finish line was on the back stretch. He would have led there. He has not led at the line quite yet. And Bush Watermelon trying. Capital Speedway for the lead. The eight of Nemechek to the bottom. The 14 year old racing his second late model event. Side by side with Pollard. They both four for the lead. The line is Pollard. Give the lead to the 14-year-old John Hunter Newton as a caution flag flies. 
We have one backed into the inside retaining wall in turns three and four. Caution flag is out. 43 laps. He is now the just out of the top five. Move Casey Smith. <laughs> Also going out there with her, Jeff Foltz. Ross Kent is involved. They're clipping him with Darnell. He's got damage suspension on the left front of Darnell's number seven. Stopping to avoid it was Jimmy Doyle. I think you'll have damage there mostly on the 25 of Kenseth, who now pulls away, and the 7 of Darnell. He could not steer the car. The left front suspension has John been Hunter Nemechek ready to come to green off of turn number 4. Jones on third, and Bush in fourth. We're back underway at the Watermelon Capital Speedway. Side by side, the two leaders head into turn number 1. Pollard, a pretty good restart. Nemechek goes up the banking. Rub a little bit in turn number 2. And that allows Eric Jones to go to the inside of Bubba Pollard. That is for the second spot. Nemechek side. I'll lead your leader battle for a second between Jones and Pollard. Give the edge to Jones. If I wreck doing it, I wreck doing it. He doesn't want to do that, of course, but he is really laying it on the line right now with Steven Nassi for fifth. Nemechek and Jones, one and two. They look in their rear view mirror. They'll see NASCAR Sprint Cup Series star Kyle Busch in the number 51, running in the third spot. Busch chasing down the second place, Eric Jones. So they make their way out of turn two. Busch not able to close on the top two. He's by himself right in front of fourth and fifth. And Smith, once he clears Pollard, might go after Busch, trying to get that spot. He does. Busch nearly spins it. Oh, trouble. Eric Jones must have blown up on the back stretch. Cars sliding down off of the racetrack. Car sliding down, and uh, Jeff Fultz has gone down into the creek. Caution flag is out. Yellow flag on the raceway. Jeff Fultz has been the first driver to find his way into the creek this weekend. So we are at 100 laps completed, 100 laps to go. Your top five as it stands now is the number eight of John Hunter Nemechek, your leader. The 51 of Kyle Busch is second. The 99 of Casey Smith started 17th. He is up to third. The 26 of Bubba Pollard in fourth. And now Chase Elliott cracks the top five for the first time in the number nine. 100 in, 100 to go. Elliott Bush, your front row. Pollard and Nassi, your second row. Theriot Wilson, your third row. Rustin and Long, the fourth row. Marks and Fisher, your fifth row. As Elliott and Bush make their way through turns three and four. Chief started Robert Tower up on the flag stands. Got the green flag in hand, and we are back underway for Speed Fest 2012. 24 of the original 30 starters take the green at the halfway mark, and Chase Elliott has fallen into second. Bush is into the lead. Chase fights back in turn number two, but it's Kyle Busch going out front. Elliott drops into second behind him, double wide between Bubba Pollard and Stephen Nassi. Kyle Busch wasted no time. And outside Lewis, he just rocketed past the number nine of Chase Elliott to take the lead. Bubba Pollard heard Stephen Nassi up the fourth. Austin Therio battling with fifth between a whole slew of cars behind him. Three wide, pretty deep in the field. Jeff Fultz through the middle after his trip to the watermelon patch and into the creek. Fultz, his car is still strong. He's able to get by the 82 of Fisher and the 8 of Nemechek back in the pack. Green throughout the field. A little bit of contact deep in the pack. Randy Gentry racing with Joe Beaver. Look out. Donnie Wilson, John Long get together. Three wide on the back stretch. Threading the needle the 01 car of Travis Braden. And it was John Hunter Nemechek who was able to pass about four cars right there. Oh, trouble in turn number four. Kenzie Rustin turns it around. Caution flag will fly one more time. Rustin was up in the top ten after the strategy with two tires on the change. Put her into the top ten. As he works to, works to make his way in the top ten. Oh, we got trouble up in turn number three. Jared, like Jared Marks way up off the track in turn number three. Hey, Jared, the track's over here, buddy. <laughs> no doubt. A tough break from the Napoleon, Ohio driver in that number 12 Fifth machine. Right now, see how many spots he loses on this restart. The car is just not really up to speed compared to the cars with the fresh rubber so far as we're back to green. 123 on the board, closing on the 75 to go mark, and Pollard on the outside of Kyle Busch in turn number two. Right behind Bush and Pollard is a battle for third between the six of David Reagan and the 99 of Casey Smith. As Smith working the outside of Reagan, but Reagan shuts the door coming out of four. David Reagan, they made some adjustments on that car, and this is the best it has been all day long. He goes to the inside of Pollard, coming off of two. Battle for the runner-up spot, heading to three. Reagan on the inside, the top qualifier this weekend with pole sitter Bubba Pollard running high. Up front, Kyle Bush continues to lead the 51. Pollard able to escape the grass of the number six of Reagan. 
But now Reagan with a bump back bumper full of the 99 of Casey Smith. Over the contact between Stephen Nassi and Chase Elliott. That's not the first time that has happened today. Also, Hunter, John Hunter Nemechek has picked up a spot on the inside of the 29 of turn three. Yeah, we can definitely see it. Look at the, like, you see it over there, the, the grass over there, the kind of dried up grass, I guess is the best way to put it. That's, that, that's on fire over there in turn number and three. Then the battle starts for that third position. Here comes Reagan and around goes Kenseth in the 25. Kenseth gets some contact from behind and spins in turn number two. Clay Rogers getting into the back end of the 25 of Ross Kenseth going into turn number two, bringing out that caution flag. Kyle Busch, as TJ Fisher in the 82 comes down pit road, ready to head back out on the racetrack, I think. But Kyle Busch, Bubba Pollard to the green and turn number four. Here we go, back to action at the Watermelon Capital Speedway. And Pollard a good restart in the second groove this time. Pollard staying right next to Bush as now Casey Smith looking at the inside, gonna make it three wide. No, he thinks better of it as Bush and Pollard remain side by side. He's ready for that if it opens up again. Bush working his car up the track and Pollard leads lap 150, 50 to go and Pollard and Bush still side by side. Bush inches forward in turn two. And Carnes turns it around over in turn number three. Carnes got off the track. You can see where the dust was kicked up on the back straightaway where you can get off of the raceway, did some Cultivation work back there. The temperature started to drop. They turned them on for a little bit of heat to finish this one off here today. The 51 of Bush, the 26 of Pollard to the green. Pollard a great restart. His best of those so far nearly takes the lead, but Bush fights right back in the inside lane off of two. They are side by side in the battle for the lead. Casey Smith shuffled back to fourth as David Reagan gets by him. Here comes Stephen Nassie, the 51. Bush and Pollard bumping and grinding down the front stretch. TJ Reed taking two spots away. He moves up two spots with a three wide pass and yellow is out. Caution. Caution being waved. We have yellow on the raceway with 166 complete. Taking away the lead battle that we had. Was Pollard the leader the last time at the line, Matt? It, it may, he may have been. Um, yes, he was. Pollard was the yeah, leader. So I. Me, me too. Ready for the green. 29 to go at the line. The green flag will be out this time for Bush and Pollard. Will they battle it out like they did on the last restart? Pollard again. Good restart. Bush spins his tires as he slides up the banking. Pollard inches forward as they head into turn one. Bubba Pollard off of turn number two. Can he clear him? Yes, he can. He clears Kyle Bush for the lead. Here comes David Reagan. Bush drives hard into turn three, trying to pull back along. Sure, who did it that time back in the field, but Bush gets a fender up alongside Bubba Pollard. Bush and Pollard battling for the lead. Bush now to the inside, Pollard on the high side. They are side by side down the back stretch. Kyle Bush has turned it up a notch and Rowdy inches forward going into the lead. Lap number 184, new leader, Kyle Bush. 16 laps remaining, Las Vegas, Nevada's Kyle Bush back in the lead. The 51, but Bubba Pollard trying to stay with the 51 of Bush. This time by, the white flag comes out. One lap to go. Kyle Bush continues to lead the number 51. Some distance between him and second place, Bubba Pollard. The crowd rises to its feet just as it has all afternoon long. Bush half a lap away from a victory in Speed Fest 2012 from Las Vegas, Nevada. The Toyota KyleBush.com, Toyota 51. Bush the winner of his third feed Speed Fest, his first here at the Watermelon Capital Speedway, finishing second Pollard. Third spot to the six of Reagan, coming home fourth and 99 of Casey Smith and finishing fifth. An impressive run in the second half of today's race for TJ Reed in the 41 car. Finishing six was the nine of Chase Elliott, seventh to 71 of Kyle Benjamin, unofficially eighth to 29 of Austin Theriot, unofficially ninth to 25 of Ross Kenseth, and unofficially 10th to 74 of Clay Rogers. Oh, what a day of racing today at Watermelon Capital Speedway in Cordell, Georgia. Awesome, awesome racing action between a star-studded field of cars and the CRA Super Series and the JEG CRA All-Stars Tour. We will have post-race in a moment. Duke Kenfield down on the front straightaway, getting ready to talk to some of our top finishers. Wow, Duke, I know you can hear me. What a great day of racing here this afternoon. Absolutely, Adam. And Kyle Busch, what more can you say? I mean, the guy just gets it done, whether it's in the NASCAR National Series or here on the short tracks.